In this video, we are going to look at reusing an Estes rocket engine. So for our materials, we obviously need an empty, used, burned out Estes rocket engine casing. And then for the rocket fuel itself, I'm going to use the APCP mix I did in a previous video. And it's going to include ammonium perchlorate, 14 grams, aluminum, 2 grams, and silicone, 4 grams. For our method, we're going to scrape out all the crap and crud that's stuck inside the rocket engine to clean it out good, except for the nozzle. And then we're going to mix all these ingredients really well, and it forms sort of a putty. We're going to shove that mix into the open end of the Estes rocket, once again leaving the nozzle uh, like it is. And then drill a hole through the rocket engine like we need to do for these types of rocket engines. And now that we have a rocket engine, we need to find a rocket to put it in. This is all pretty simple. This is an Estes D12-3, obviously, but it's used. And uh, you can see all the crap that's in there. And um, But it, it has this nozzle. And I'm going to try and reuse this and make an ammonium perchlorate rocket engine uh, with silicone again and see if we can't launch a rocket. So most of that's paper that's on the edges there. This is pretty good. The nozzle, I don't know. We'll see if it lasts or not. Starting to measure out the 14 grams here of ammonium perchlorate. I've done this entire uh, rocket engine building on another video. I've measured out very close to 14 grams of our ammonium perchlorate to start making a rocket engine. I've measured out two grams of powdered aluminum. I've measured out four grams of silicone. Mixing in the two grams of aluminum. Next, I'll be mixing in the 14 grams of the ammonia perchlorate. I'll be doing this a little bit at a time. I'll be back. It takes a bit, but this can all be mixed together into a putty. And uh, just a reminder, you need to do this really within 20 minutes to a half hour because the silicone will start to set and you can't form your engine anymore. Okay, I'm going to slowly but surely knead this some more. All right, I think I've collected as much as I can off of the paper there and even off my gloves a little bit. So we're going to take this engine here and put it in there. I have no idea how much it's going to fill it. I tried to, to guess, of course, that it was going to make it work, but okay, it's packing in. Actually, I can feel it stopping. It's going to be pretty full. I still need to drill the hole down the center. Don't forget you're working with silicone. So this stuff will all harden and stick to the table really well. So clean it up fast. This cured overnight very nicely and um, drilled the hole all the way through here, put a fuse in it. So this not Estes rocket engine is ready to go. And uh, yeah, that's some whiteout. I just wanted to make it look pretty. And I'll be putting this rocket engine into this, which once was part of my rocket sled, but I decided against it. I've just painted it. And uh, so I've got to make it some sort of an engine brace to keep it in here. So this is a bit labor intensive, but it works and it's actually cheap. I've used duct tape in the past, but I'm going to try masking tape this time. Once you get the engine in there, you just glue it with hot glue like a ton. I have this to the point that I can slide this in. It's still a little bit loose, but uh, what I'm going to do is around the edges here is fill this with hot glue. Finish gluing the not an SD's rocket engine in here. It's part of this rocket. It's not going to come out ever. So I'm out here, have the rocket and not an SD's rocket engine set up, ready to light. Wow, the engine blew itself right out the top. Look at that. I guess they didn't secure it well enough. I got this in, I noticed something right away. There's no burn marks anywhere where the nose cone was before the makeshift nose cone. And the engine casing is still there. 
So what it means is a propellant shot itself out of the casing, went straight up the rocket, knocked off the nose cone here, and then just kept going up in the air, which is what we saw. So apparently this stuff needs to be capped somehow, the top of the engine casing, so it cannot get itself out of there. And here's a makeshift nose cone that I made that got blown off when the propellant itself lifted off.